everybody's running and the world gets so crazy. People work so hard, there's no time to be lazy. The weekend comes, I'm down with that. Grab your ball, grab your bat, head to the beach, grab some rings. Better hurry up, just got some days. Playing games, hanging out, rolling close, so there's no doubt. Go to the mall, a lot of fun, peace and love. Welcome to Leftover Pizza, serving yesterday's pizza today. Can we get a large half plain half pepperoni? Uh, let's see what we got. Half a sausage pizza, two slices with onion and brown things. Well, I guess these crusts will be fine if you scrape off the fuzzy spots. Hey, I think these are our crusts from last week. Your pal Tino here, and I have the ID badge to prove it. See? Mrs. Duong, down at Helpers Helping the Helpless, asked us to be in the Preteen Pals program. It's like this thing where 12-year-olds like us help the little 11-year-olds overcome their fears of middle school. It doesn't pay or anything, but only a few kids get asked, so it's kind of cool. I wish it had a better name. Yeah, I guess underage, unlicensed guidance counselors was already taken. What if I say the wrong thing? What if I scar someone for all of middle school? If I can make just one kid comfortable in seventh grade, I'll have earned this badge of honor. I just hope the little fellas aren't intimidated by us big kids. <laughs> okay, secretly, I hope they are. Kids are gonna be like, how do you do this? And I'm gonna be like, oh, you do it this way. And they'll be like, really? And I'll be like, yeah. And they'll be like, wow, you are so totally cool. And I'll be like, I'm glad you thought this out. What are those? Business cards, because I mean business. Carver Descartes. Protein pal? No, it says protein. It says protein pal. Ah, hope you haven't passed any out yet. Only about ten. Times ten. When the eleven-year-olds come in here, all you have to do is remember two plus four equals okay, and you'll be great. Why? Because you have two ears for listening. Okay. Say okay. 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 Heads up, little folk. Dr. Descartes is on duty. Mrs. Duong, if there's no one else coming, maybe I should help you with the... Are you my preteen pal? Ah, uh, only if you're really a preteen, <laughs> which you are one. Right? Melissa said all the middle school girls wear eyeshadow, but I tried it once and I looked stupid. The exact same thing happened to me. Well, I, um, you, um, well, the thing is, in middle school, we'll be using lockers, but I've been using cubbies my whole life. What's and this I kid's name again? Rhymes with something. Am I getting enough calcium? I guess I'm just thinking, what is middle school going to be like? Oh, well, homework is the biggest difference for most kids. Uh, that is, kids who are entering middle school soon. <laughs> Which you are, right? <laughs> I mean, you're 11, right? Not like 30 or something? Um, could I see a passport? Does my elbow itch? I think it does. I wonder how long I can go without scratching it. Don't scratch. Don't scratch. Many young folks harbor secret fears about middle school. I understand, young Irvine, and I'm here for you. My mom made me come. Back off or I'll bite you. But if you want to be class president, you have to wear lipstick. George Washington did not wear lipstick because of his ill-fitting wooden teeth. Anyway, um, yeah. Anyway, and what if I can't fit all my books in my locker? Carver? Carver, are you listening? What? Yeah. Um, the answer is, uh, buy shoes. What does that have to do with lockers? Shoes fit in lockers. Do you deny this? Hmm. Okay, helpers. Juice boxes are in the back. One to a customer. Carver, can I see you for a sec? First of all, I want to thank you for helping preteen pals. And second, it's not working out. Please return your ID badge and help yourself to a juice box. One to a customer. But I like being a preteen pal. I'm sorry, Carver, but you didn't listen to a word Tommy said. You've got to hear here before you hear here. You hear? Did you say something? How could she say I don't listen? Listening is my middle name. I thought it was Renee. It's ridiculous. Who could possibly be a better listener than me? Carver. Not to mention respectful and well-appointed. Carver. And of course, polite to a fault. Carver. I'm talking here. Well, don't. 
Mrs. Twang is right. You gotta learn to listen better. How could she know? What did I just say? How should I know? <gasps> oh my gosh, I don't listen. Well, you better learn to if you want to be a preteen pal. Okay, I'll learn some listening skills, and I'll be the best darn listener Mrs. Duong ever listened to. We will begin our exercise in listening. Now open yourself to the sounds of nature. If you listen closely, you can hear the wind dancing through the leaves, the bucolic scampering of the squirrels, the gentle footfalls of centipedes walking. <laughs> and if you listen extra close, you can also hear the pitter-patter of the North American Freedy Cat. <laughs> you definitely heard that. People in France heard that. So, the evil barrel maker dissolved into a pool of butter, and all over Scotland, the people who had grown tails returned to normal. The end. That Scottish legend sure was Scottish. Okay, Carver, to prove you were listening, how much of the wee Cooper and the magic barrel do you remember? Was there a barrel? Mm. And I'm happy to report, Mrs. Duong, that I passed every test with flying colors. All right, I'm nothing if not fair, and I'm not nothing, so I must be fair. Is that fair? So I get a second chance? Yes, but first, you'll have to pass a little test of my own. In a moment, I'm going to come through this door as Billy Johnson, a confused preteen in desperate need of a preteen pal. Hello, my name is Billy Johnson. Hello, Billy Johnson. Sit down here, and I'll listen to every single word of your little problem thingy. Well, I am feeling insecure, there we go, about juggling my schoolwork with my many volunteer activities. What should I do? <clears throat> well, I am feeling <clears throat> insecure, <clears throat> there we go, about juggling my schoolwork with my many volunteer activities. What should I do? How's that? I think I got every word. Excellent! And what's your advice? About what? Oh. <laughs> Penny, do you have a minute? Two conditions. You can't be in my room, and you only have ten seconds. Tick, 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 Okay, tick, um, tick, tick, I got kicked tick, out of preteen tick, pals, tick, even though I repeated everything Mrs. Duong said, but I guess I'm not really tick, listening. It's really tick, more like tick, hearing. Tick, tick, I don't need... Time's up. I'll come back when there's less wood between us. Stand back, please. I mean, how does a person learn to listen? What do you think? Please stand back. But I'm just asking. Ah! Museum rules require me to ask if you are okay. No, I'm not. I'm looking for advice, and no one will listen to me. Plus, I think my eyelashes just got flambéed. You need to see this fella. He is the master. Oh, no, not this guy. I don't think all your world traveling is going to help me, Jules. This is a really serious crisis. In the Amazonian rainforest, I have seen men swallowed whole by snakes. Okay, but you promise you're really going to listen to my problem? What do you mean? I mean, you won't be like everyone else I've talked to. You'll hear what I'm saying, and you'll think about what it really means and how you feel about it, right? You'll listen. What is your problem? I need to know how to listen. I think you already know. Consider what you just said. Well, I said, hear what I'm saying, think about what it really means, and how you feel about it. Whoa, you are the master. Am I, or is the master within you? Five dollars. So how'd it go today? Yeah, I spent all day with that Irvine kid. I learned a lot about pocket moon mania. Back off, or I'll bite you. It just wasn't the same without you, Carve. Mrs. Duong totally called it, though. I didn't listen, and that wasn't fair to Tommy. Hey, isn't that him over there? Hey, Tommy. Hey! My preteen pal. Sorry if I didn't really help you that much. Ah, uh, my problem was dumb. I mean, why should I be worried about lockers? It's stupid. Just forget it. Okay. But you know, once when I went to summer camp, I was really worried about my shoes. Would I have enough? Would I have enough? Then I realized it wasn't the shoes. What I was really worried about was, would I be enough? Would the other kids like me? Things like that. Yeah, I am kind of worried about that stuff. But even in a new place, if you get out there and talk to people, you can always find somebody to hang with. Cool. Thanks, Carver. Anytime, Tommy. See ya. Carver, I'm impressed. And a little weirded out. <laughs> oh, this virtual knitting group is an absolute panic. Mrs. Duong at Funville does not compute. Carver, you were wonderful with Tommy. Now that you listen so well, think you're ready for another shot at preteen palling? You know it, Mrs. D. Okay. Who thinks they can beat me at virtual knitting group? <laughs> I can't you don't have a chance. Mrs. D. Well, I guess what I found out from all of this is that you have to... Ha hey... Hello? Are you listening to me? Hey, oh, no, 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 what? No, don't fade out on me while I'm talking. Hey, later days! I'm living for the weekend. I'm living for the weekend. Hey! Pepperoni!
away, innocent citizens menaced by hunger. This looks like a job for the Pizza Avenger, Ender, Ender, and his spunky sidekick, Pilar. Kapow! My work here is done. Cross, cross, and away! Uh, Pilot, could you, uh... <clears throat> you guys up for some pool? Um, I hate to sound like a school marm, but aren't you forgetting our dioramas are due Monday? Sorry, Tish. My weekend hearing just kicked in. Once you said the word school, it all just became blither, blither, blither. What's a marm? Oh, oh, oh. Well, Tish and I are going to start on our ancient Egypt diorama tonight. You guys should get going, too. If you wait around, you're going to waste the whole weekend. Yeah, you're doing the Mesa Verde Cliff Dwellers, right? Kerp, think. Work later. Uh-oh, did you see that? Obviously, Carver and Laura are suffering from HPS, Homework Paralysis Syndrome. Let's check out this instant replay. Sometimes doing homework on the weekend is so overwhelming that just thinking about it makes their brains freeze up. And you know what happens then. Tish and I take pity on them and help them with their homework. Yeah, mostly by doing it for them. But that won't happen this time. We promise we are never going to make them come to our rescue again. No, we are totally going to do our own homework. Worst case of homework paralysis syndrome I've ever seen. Rust, rust, and away! Oh. Okay. We finish our dioramas right away, then we can hang out together the rest of the weekend, right? Absolutely. Great idea. You bet. I am so stoked about this. Yeah, I can't wait to start on our home work. Yeah. You know what would get us in a diorama frame of mind? A quick shopping break. There's a big sale on fur-lined bathing suits. If it's good enough for polar bears, it's good enough for me. Here plans for a 12-foot granite pyramid with 20,000 miniature workers dragging stone blocks. Uh-huh. And I have here cardboard glue sticks and paint. Okay. How about a one-foot pyramid with two miniature workers dragging a sugar cube? I know you spent a lot of time on those plans, Tish. I'm sorry you had to compromise your artistic vision. And I'm sorry you had to sit on a tube of paint. Oh, great. Looks like I sat on a leprechaun. Shopping requires total immersion. You have to use all six senses at once. But there's only five senses. Fashion sense. Ah. Oh. Well, later days. Later days. The diorama! Dude, we can't make those guys bail us out. We promised. Yeah, we gotta start on our home. Work. <sighs> no sweat. It's okay. It's fine. You know what they say. Rome was built in a day. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't think that's what they say. Well, they should start saying it. Uh, I didn't buy this. This for my sister? Oh, a chug of freeze would totally give me the will to live right now. Just think how good it'll taste when we're done. Ooh, yeah, you're right. You know, I hope Lauren Carver are really working on their diorama and not putting it off as usual. This time for sure. Sticks, please. More quarters, please. Well, it was a lot of work, but it was worth it. Well, it was a lot of work, but it was worth it. It sure was. You're ready for the professional fry catching circuit. Woo! Ten out of ten. Whoa, you beat us here. So you actually finished first? Um, sort of. Oh, no. You haven't even started on your assignment, have you? Our assignment. Guys, how are we going to hang out if you don't get your homework done? You're wrecking our weekend, too. We were waiting for an idea. That's kind of like working, isn't it? If you need an idea, just use your imagination. I think I sprained mine. It's easy. Just pretend your imagination is like a little TV inside your head. Close your eyes. Now turn on the TV and imagine you're a Mesa Verde cliff dweller. We grow beans, squash, and maize. We have domesticated the turkey. That's all I remember from class. Me too. Race you down a cliff. Last one down is a marm. Yeah! Stop! The cliff dwellers didn't have skateboards. Cliffs plus wheels equals bad. Tino, there's no need to shout. Just because they ruined their weekend and ours and... You guys are hopeless! Wow, they're really mad. Don't worry, we'll finish that diorama. We always come through at the last minute. Wait, wait. No, we don't. Tino and Tish always come through. We can't keep making them do that. Yeah. We could check out the Cliff Dweller exhibit at the museum. 
It's right down here. Wait, what's that cheese horrific aroma? Carver, we gotta get to the exhibit before the museum closes. Feta, a soft Greek cheese, is cured in a solution of brine, giving it a salty flavor. So please enjoy feta, the cheese that tastes better. Carver, come on! But it's cheese, Laura. Beautiful, tempting cheese. Join me in the cheese. Cheese! Mm, I believe I've reached maximum salt saturation. Closing time, get out now. What? We lost the whole afternoon! I'm about to lose something else. You must see people get sick a lot. It's my favorite thing about this job. It's not fair. They goofed off, and we pay for it by not getting to hang with our friends. Yeah. Do you think it's time to bail them out yet? Okay, guys. A mom can only pretend not to listen for so long. I was wondering what you were waiting for. You know what you're doing. You're enabling them. Enabling? Did you just make that word up? Wait, 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 wait. I get it. We're making them able to keep blowing off their work by always coming to their rescue. So, we're actually stopping them from learning to do stuff for themselves. Which means that by helping our friends, we're really hurting them. That'd be a 10 on the right meter, compadre. Okay, how did she just convince me that we're the ones who are wrong? Answer that, and you've explained my whole life. Ow! That's the third one this month! What if Laura and Carver never finished their diorama? They could flunk out of school! They'll never get into college! They'll wind up selling pencils on a street corner! On the plus side, it'll be the future, so they'll be like laser pencils or something, and they'll be going pew, pew, pew! If we help them, we're hurting them. But we have to help them. What can we do? Hang on. Maybe if they didn't want help. <gasps> that sounds like your I have a plan voice. You know how competitive those guys are, right? They can't turn down a challenge. Uh, of course. I see. You have no idea what I'm talking about. Explain it to me on the way. And now, hour 12 of our Team Canyon Marathon. Kyle, Gordo thinks Louise is dating an alien from space. Bird. It's not what it looks like. We were just taking a break. From what? From feeling guilty about not working? Turkey bird. Okay, it's obvious you can't handle a simple homework assignment, so we're here to do it for you. What do you mean we can't handle it? We're just having a little trouble getting started. Sure. Listen, now, uh, why don't you kids go play while we do the stuff that's too hard for you? Too hard? It's not too hard. We could do it if we really tried. You go ahead and think that if it makes you feel better. We don't think that. We know it. Yeah, and we'll prove it. We'll build this diorama, and we'll get an A to boot. Ooh. A B minus. Okay, if we're going to prove ourselves, we need an idea. Think. Must fight homework paralysis syndrome. That's too weak. I know. The cliff dwellers domesticated the turkey. Turkey bird, buck, 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 buck. We did it. Yeah, in your face. That's great. Way to go. Thanks, guys. I guess we needed a kick in the butt to get us going. Well, that was a full weekend, huh? Carver and Laura defeated homework paralysis syndrome. Tish and I found out that sometimes you have to let your friends do their own work, and I ruined my best pair of pants. Okay, later days.